here in Midtown. And we look at the measurables here. You see Vladimir Hernandez with just a one-inch reach advantage. Lorenzo Simpson with a three-inch height advantage. The 23-year-old Lorenzo Simpson hoping to come into his own here tonight. We'll find out if Truck is for real tonight. Round one, scheduled for eight. Early on in this fight, it's going to be very important. Truck needs to get that respect, draw a line in the sand, and let Hernandez know, you're not going to bully me, you're not going to push me around. We've seen Hernandez against guys like J-Rock J Williams, guys who could certainly box, mobile boxers, force them into trench warfare. And, you know, Truck Simpson certainly is used to that with all the sparring that he's got, A-level sparring. However, it's different here in an 18 by 18 ring. It's different in live action. And it's different when you're stepping up in class with a guy like Hernandez who's got that much experience, been in with world-class guys, former world title challenges, former world champions, and has wins over those guys. I'm loving the way that truck is slipping and rolling and sliding, making Hernandez hit nothing but air along the ropes. Hernandez looking for a counter right hook. Simpson gets out of the way of that one. Hernandez can't start slow. That first round he did next to nothing. He needs to put more pressure. He needs to let the hands go, even if he's missing. Hit whatever he can. Hit the shoulder. Hit the hip. Hit the elbows. But I think aiming to the body will do Hernandez well, but Simpson comes back with a hard right hook to the body of his own. Yeah, Hernandez is actually a very good body puncher. He throws it in combination, sneaks in nice rear-handed left shot, left-hand shots, right hooks around the elbow there. You saw it. See Simpson landing to the body. There's a sneaky right hook from Simpson as he catches a lot of these shots on the arms. So here we go with round three. Our eight-round main event between Lorenzo Truck Simpson and Vladimir 24K Hernandez. Hernandez coming out with volume as he always does. But interesting to see Simpson go right at Hernandez and try and not necessarily match the volume, Chris, but go to the space where Hernandez wants to work and frustrate him with defense here. Honestly, I think that's very smart. When you got a guy and you start making a miss, you take some of the power off the punch, you get a little more hesitant. So I think it's really... Oh, oh good man, shot right there! Upstairs. Hernandez might have wobbled Truck Simpson! Simpson trying to roll with these shots along the ropes, but that right hook had an effect on Truck. Chris, what do you think Simpson is trying to do with this game plan right now? I you think he's trying to hold his ground. He's trying to hold his ground and look for big openings. He knows he's got the bigger punch, but the guy who's been affected has been him. So he needs to be careful fighting on the inside, absorbing all this punishment. Oh, nice uppercut on the inside from Simpson. Yeah, Simpson. Head up. But look at Back Hernandez, Hernandez threw about nine uppercuts in a row. <laughs> what do you call that? Uppercut party? Uppercut party. <laughs> Yeah, Hernandez so wraps that left hand around the guard of Simpson. Truck is trying to physically impose his body on Hernandez, but he needs to impose his power punching, not letting hands go enough on the inside. Hernandez breaks through with a right hook there. Again, with that uppercut up the middle. Hernandez finding a home for that, splitting the guard when they're on the inside. Truck starting to dig the shoulder into Hernandez. There's a nice uppercut on the inside. Get the sense that Truck is seeing these shots a little bit better from Hernandez. You can't see all of them when he's throwing nine at a time, but particularly the ones up top landing with less frequency right now from Hernandez. I also think that, that Truck, even though he got rocked at that right hook early in the third round, he's been taking them just fine since then. I, I don't know if he doesn't feel the power anymore. And he's like, all right, I took your best shot so I can stay in the pocket. Simpson looking for a sweeping right hook there a moment ago. Truck is doing a good job, not giving up ground. He is holding, holding that line, being physical. Smiling on the inside is Truck now. Smiling, talking to Hernandez. 
Round six begins now. And we're back to where we've been for nearly every moment of this fight. Chest to chest, forehead to forehead. Lorenzo Simpson meeting Vladimir Hernandez on his terms here in this 18 by 18 ring in the OTE arena. And I was gonna say, as much as you would think that that would benefit Hernandez in this situation, Truck having a lot of success as well. Fighting on the inside, fighting Hernandez's fight. Laying the bigger, cleaner shots. And imposing his physicality. Nice uppercut there on the inside. Another good right hook there. Yeah, sharp right hook from Truck a moment ago. Work from Hernandez on the inside, letting those hands go, head and body. The big picture, Chris, what do you think about the game plan from Truck? Do you think that he and his camp looked at the dimensions of this ring, looked at the fighter they're in against, a guy who could chuck a thousand punches per fight, and said, well, maybe trying to outbox him in this ring isn't going to work. Do, do we have to meet him on his terms? What, what do you think about the game plan tonight? No, I just think that Hernandez is, is better than people like to give him credit for. You know, you, you see the, the, the five losses, and you're like, oh, you know, we're going to get this guy. I think, but Hernandez is a, is a tough, savvy vet. He's came in with a good game plan here. You know, Chuck is making it harder on himself. He was doing really good in the first round fighting from the outside. But like you said, Hernandez very good at forcing you into trench warfare, and I think Truck is there, and Truck is the bigger guy, and he's just banking on his strength. Oh, oh. big right hook connects from Truck. Hernandez eats it and comes back with, with combinations, but Truck now emboldened by that shot, and he's looking to load up that left hand. That was a huge shot. Hernandez did take it well. Oh, good right hook upstairs from Hernandez. See Mello on his feet, obviously towering over the crowd, cheering on Truck Simpson here with 40 seconds to go in this contest, unless there is an overtime round. There's always that caveat, right? Unless. <laughs> More Mello in the mouth of, of Truck. Mello's son taking in the action with him as well. Both oh. men trying to make a final statement here, and that is a beautiful left hand from Truck. And a two-punch combination connects as well. Truck takes a look up at the at the, the Megatron there to see the how much time is left. Short time here. Final moments, oh. perhaps, of an all-action main event. Truck Simpson got the test that he asked for. After going eight rounds inside the OTX ring, we go to the scorecard. Judge Webb scores about 76 to 76, a draw. Overruled by Judge Cronin, who scores about 78 to 74. And Judge Oliver, who scores at 79 to 73, in favor of the winner by way of majority decision. From Mexico, Vladimir. 24K!